Hello everybody and welcome back to the live stream of Rome Total War Remastered. This is the everything that started all for me. This is where my love of history started. And it all came in the perfect timing. I have already watched the Gladiator, Troy, and Alexander the Great movie. And this came out. So it was a perfect timing back in the day. <laughs> so, um. We actually gotta continue the campaign. I believe it would be. Let's see here. on 23.19 so it should be this one then I think <laughs> believe so but anyway I hope this stream will be clean because I reduced the CPU cores now from 7 to 4 cores of usage. So let's see how it's going because the CPU went overheating all the time. Everything of my CPU was heating up. So let's see how uh, this is actually gonna go. My new cooling pace will apparently come tomorrow and I'll continue streaming on Wednesday and I will then return streaming to Friday. So apparently it will be Monday, Wednesday and Friday as my streaming schedule and I will make the battles I had into cinematic battles and see what I can do more work into putting cutting out some of the campaign scenes from the stream shorten it out and have uh, shorter videos like 15 minutes <clears throat> so let's see here we have blockade port at and then date Redonum. We are actually on our way to do that. And here is my favorite guy, Guys Julius. He's age 26. And he will actually now, for the, his first time in his life, conquer Gaul. And I spared gold just for him. <laughs> I didn't know how long it would take for it to arrive though. But we got it. And if I remember right, the Hispanic people has uh stopped their uh, alliance with me. So this is um, a new beginning. Sir. He will be the reinforcement for guys Julius. Sir. The so we stopped here last time. I have a little bit of a stuttering when I'm moving the camera all around. So what the guys Julius Caesar is, what guys Julius, not Caesar, but guys Julius is gonna do, he's gonna conquer Francia, and he also gonna take Londinium, 
that we get a conquer upwards towards um yeah not entirely on scotland but we get a conquer the realistic way of uh where the romans had conquered i'll try to do that as close as possible in the uh, mapping in reality so we probably get to go conquer this area as well but no further than here and inwards because the Romans were not clo too close to these borders so I just gotta try to stick to the historical way Marcellius Lavinius is going to be the reinforcements for Gaius Julius. So let's put to the next turn. Dear Spain! I don't know why I just did this, but uh, the Spanish people really really want their allies back with me because they already are allied with the Scipio and they are enemies with Gauls, Britain, Greece and the rebels of course they literally broke the alliance with us and I really don't want them anymore to be my allies Until next time. But I can still keep the trade rights with them. Ah, oh, these rebels. Thank you. Now, we are now at the first battle with guys Julius Caesar. And uh, he, we gotta control this battle because I gotta have this on my YouTube. <laughs> I gotta save the replay as well. Because this is gonna be a full Gaius Julius campaign. Caesar in Gaul. The only campaign that is called in uh, Rome 2 Tot War. I am known as something of a philosopher. Some ask me, why are we here? The answer is often complicated. But today, we are here to kill all those bastards! Today, we fight against monsters. The Gauls, they are dangerous, mad, and hairy beyond reason. In victory, they are always heartless. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. Hey, my dear. We are even matched in numbers, man for man, but that does not tell the whole story. Yet, for all that, we are the stronger within ourselves. We are the greater warriors. Well said, guys. They will try to wait for us on the steepest slopes, where they can turn <laughs> the ground to their advantage. We must fight the harder then. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, well, when we win, this victory you, will be yours as much as mine. You will uh, meet them the many times, but not yet. Well, that's a generous offer. He will, after the victory, he will share his own finest wine to his soldiers. That's gonna be expensive. <laughs> But that's how they win the loyalty of the men. Right? Units, 
Exactly, this is exactly the speech what Caesar would have said. In the reality though, uh, that I can see, we have a disadvantage on our placement because we are on the downhill and they have the upper hill, so we have a disadvantage for our charging. So, if I really want to attack the goals, I don't want my men to take retreats. I could use the uh, special ability to flaming ammo, but I always use that at the night because it's more epic. Yeah, because the army will be getting fast and tired even before they're reaching to the enemy. Oh yeah, Europa Barbarum. Holy crap, man. Having the native Italian language, that made the uh, Europa Barbarum more alive. Principes! They have no cavalry units, so we are kind of good in a way. The only strength we have, strength and honor, is the um, catapults, the onagers. There's four principes there. I want them to have equally. Strength of each side. And the cavalry will be running sideways and upwards to ambush the enemy. Row 3 might actually ever happen. But if that ever gonna happen, I really hope they will uh, do something correctly about more um, correctly of history of what it was. Okay. Now we can see the enemy. They are ahead of us. Of course they are. So we're gonna place the principes front of the archers. Over there. We're gonna have the Chiarii to defend the front lines as well. We're gonna have these units to move a little bit sideways. Like so. Because this was a little bit of unexpected. So I don't know if they actually gonna attack me, but I have my own plans on how to attack them. So let's get on with it. That's the best part about Rome Classic. Is because the enemy is actually attacking if you are the attacker. That alone will give you an advantage. Because they will attack you. No matter what. And they went directly... Oh. Okay, I thought they actually went directly to my Triari units. They didn't. With the cavalry. The general. Okay. That was unexpected.
There will be a little bit of a friendly fire here and there, but I'll accept that. It's a large army. What are they doing? <laughs> They are so dead. The enemy general is running away. This is no way, way to, to be behave. But in battle, it's beyond belief. Please tell me I did the right thing there. No, I didn't. <clears throat> and my Romans are pushing them back. I can't remember the Auxilia Cavalry had Oh yeah, these goals will be easily dealt with Get on with it I might reduce the um, graphics because it's a little bit lagging. It looks so glorified in the classic Rome, it feels so more immersive. <laughs> Sound is breaking off in game. Uh, in stream or exactly that is how Rome should be. What? Okay, Romans. Oh shit. Fall back guys, fall back, fall back, fall back. I don't want to lose you right now. Not this early. Romans. Help you later. Why are you over there? You should uh, get over there and help guys. That's almost the death of uh, guys Julius here. Holy crap. Is he within these troops? Please tell me he's in here. Yes, he is with his army. Extreme. So the game is... Sound is breaking off in-game. On stream. That's not good. Could be um, that I reduce the um, cores usage of my um, PC, though. Engage. Full attack. Get rid of them. Come on, Romans. Break them. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. They might retreat back to their uh, settlement. Hey, Sim Driven, how are you doing? Could also be um, 
stream lapse causing the uh, lag of the game? I don't know. I'm gonna have a look. Might put some filters on the game overlay. I'm gonna have a look after this battle. Even though we have already won. Glory of guys, Julius Caesar. Damn, I lost like, a few Romans here. They actually got some of us, 409, but it's a little number to reckon with of my 3000. So they lost 2051 soldiers. Oh, the rise of Ottomans. Yeah, those were the one that defeated, um, that managed to defeat the Constantinople uh, castle, the Ottomans, I, if I remember right. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, fuck me. I forgot to uh, save the goddamn replay. And this game doesn't auto uh, saving the replay. Well, it's gonna be more battles. Mohammed seconded that took 400 years, I believe. Yeah, it did. All right, so our Caesar got some uh, <coughs> battle the enemy. experience now. So what we are gonna do now is to simply place siege on the settlement. Defeating Vrad Dracula. Oh, yeah. You have been awarded bounty for your efforts. The Senate has noted your efforts for Rome and is most grateful. Thelonium is being death stocked. Oh yeah, this is uh, the Ottomans when they actually defeat, were going to war against. Oh, where was that again? Yeah, when you said they Vlad Dracula, that's that history. I remember that was not Constantinople. <clears throat> that's a way after Constantinople. Let's see, lines announced, goal and who? Britannia! Okay. Alright, let me check if I got some filters on. No, no filters on the sound on my Streamlabs, so that's good. Then, let's check settings here. Yeah, the game uh, sound is lagging sometimes, I think. Or was it uh, the breaking, the sound is breaking often in game, as I was told so I gotta say because it sometimes breaks a little bit when I talk so or... yeah it could be the lack of cores usage at the moment let's 
let's see. I just have to take a look at every single settlement I have to make sure. We're gonna defeat the Britons over here. Easy, said and done. I don't even have to fight it. It's an easy battle. <laughs> Just one unit against the whole Legion. That's ridiculous for me to fight. <laughs> Occupy. Repair the walls, build the roads, build the settlement. And destroy their... Um, Believes in their gods. Which is the sacred. We should destroy that. We should build... Uh, this one and that one. There we go. And people are really mad at us at this point. So, <coughs> yep. should recruit our troops. He is building um, watchtowers for us. So we have a little bit of a view. Yeah, it, it, it really does take a lot of efforts. can spend like hours of hours playing a historical game. In my younger time, the classic version of this game, I probably have about three, two thousand hours of gameplay, non-stop. Alicia. Okay then. So, guys, Julius, you will have to take this settlement, and then you, after taking this settlement, he will go in over there. Protect that while Guys Julius is moving towards over here. Conquering goal. Move out. Please build me a watchtower. Okay. The people has learned to settle down a little bit, so we cannot take the tier yet. So we're gonna take tier. We're gonna take this settlement and we're gonna take Sambrovia and Londinium. And as everyone has probably watched Asterix and Obelix, I uh, hope you know where the Gaul tribe is. <laughs> uh, I believe it would be this. Harbor somewhere over here, or it was the Condite uh, Redonum, where the Gallic tribes from Asterix and Obelix was. <laughs> yeah, it takes a lot of patience. After this battle is done, please remind me to uh, save the replay. I forgot to save the replay in the other one. Caesar was actually outnumbered when he was conquering Gaul. And he was outmatched when he was conquering Gaul. Because when he entered uh, the Gallic realms of France, 
he had no reinforcements. So he constantly fought the Gallic people. And in time of 10, 15 years, 10 years, 5, 7, 8 years, he already have conquered Gaul. These Gauls do not need your fear. Cold steel will bring them down just like any other men. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. That army comprises a full quarter of our foe's warriors. Is that the best that they can do? These old women? Beardless youths and craven dogs? I think we will grow weary of killing today. We are here to do one job. Prevent them from taking the town at all costs. We outnumber them by a small margin. From such small beginnings are great victories crafted. Many times I have faced these people, and still they are too stupid to learn their lesson. Today, men will die to teach them afresh that they should simply run away. Now, battles are only drilled with some blood splashed around. March forward, and the enemy will quail. Now, set your minds on the task to come. Strike hard. Strike without mercy. The speeches, man. The speeches are the incredible part of this game. Right, so we're gonna break... Uh, first of all, we're gonna break this gate, we're gonna break that wall, and the siege tower, we're gonna destroy first these two towers. While my army of principes will stand back my archers I'm gonna move forward Triari will defend the flanks cavalry units will defend the flanks General, go to stay safe. Easy control the army when they are all under the same circumstances. So, archers, get your work done. Don't fire will, just fire where I tell you to fire. And uh, archers use flaming arrows. There we go. There we go. The archers will open fire and the arrows will land directly on the enemy behind the walls if some of the arrows might hit. <laughs> Thank you. 
first tower is destroyed. Now it is the second tower. Just think about it. How terrifying would it be? Our soldiers have reached the gates with a battering ram. To be inside the walls. Now they must batter away through. Having flying flaming arrows from the skies constantly firing at you. And at the same time, you having firing balls. Hitting your towers and walls. And at the same time, you are hearing that sound constantly. It takes guts. I just say, uh, it takes a lot of guts to be. Behind these walls. <laughs> yeah, no one wants that. You're right about that. No one wants that. Now, the second tower is destroyed. Destroy the wall. It's time. First Legion. March forward. Second Legion. The enemy gate is down. Our battering ram has done its work. March forward. I really don't know what to do. Run inwards. This will be heavy, mate. Get inside. The gods have smiled on us today. <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah. Should be ordered forward. That's terrifying. Now we have the first meetup on the uh, battle. Get inside as fast as possible. Cavalry. I'll send them towards inside there. I don't want to use all my uh, troops though because, you know, using all your troops at the same time will kind of deplete you in a way. Those walls are... Mm, it's still much to be taken.
All right, Romans. Stand the ground. Make a line behind enemy lines. Make a defense position while the others are battling these troops. You guys get on the other side. Cast spears. Throw spears at them. Now they are retreating. Because they saw no way out. Now the gates in the gates are ours. There is no way out either. <laughs> Thank you, Majay. Now the Prince of Pace will the gods have smiled on us today. The walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. We are working on it. The legions will march inwards. We're not going to rush it. But we have to make a defensive line. Alright. Let's make it happen, boys. I am seeing they are uh, they are marching inwards towards me. Cavalry, now is your job. Being their defense. Get on the full side. Changing firing. Give full attack on the side, so we will squish them inwards. While the rest of the army is arriving inside the walls. Cavalry, though, will have a different job. That's the ambush. Full engage. Full engage. Full engage. They retreated as I uh, thought they would because they had lost too many people. Now let's get rid of those uh, spear throwers. These barbarians are very well equipped, I must say. Why are 
are they fucking up my line? Stupid game. Oh my god, the dogs. The fucking dogs. Kill them dogs! Come on. Okay, these barbarians know how they're def uh, defending themselves. Definitely. That was smart to spare the dogs to attack me there. Withholding my army. Making it chaotic for my army to hold the line. Perfectly fine. Because of the stupid fucking dogs is uh... We need the Triari up front. The spares are the killer machine for the cavalry. And the fucking dogs is not done yet. Come on. There we go, we lost the entire cavalry unit. We still have a general though. This battle has been costly for um for these guys. This has been really costly. Triari, come on. Help your uh, soldiers. Your men are in the enemy general is killed. Fear makes time about to turn. There we go. There we go. Feel your own goddamn medicine. Now we gotta bring the whole goddamn army. Enough is enough. We gotta run up that hill and bring them all down. Because now they managed to withhold me at these gates a good time. <laughs> Look at this. Why are you guys having... You are supposed to use swords only. Okay, make up a line, make up a line, regroup. Regroup. We are not gonna completely. run mindlessly into their uh, field. We will... mash them. Cook them. Put them in stew. That's what we're gonna do. They are very tired, many of them. So let's use whatever we can. said move around not completely through what are you guys doing I told you to get over there 
Oh my god. There we go. Guard mode. Guard mode. Guard mode. My men are winded and I want them to get a little bit freshened up. There we go. Oh my god. Managed to defeat them. Oh wow, that turn around to get around. Okay. Okay. That's it. Help you experience of that. Full attack. God damn, they are strong. My men need to reinforce here. This is gonna be a way harder battle than I thought it would be. Fall back, Caesar. Why are you still standing over there? you guys attacking? There we go. Why are you guys not even moving? No, they are the worst. Just attack. How hard can it be? Really? Attack. 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 You go towards over there. Still not attacking. Cowards. Traitors of Rome. Poor guy. 
A tribute to Roman strength and honor. Strength and honor. They didn't even celebrate. They lost too many men during that fight. Where can I save the replay? Guys! How can I save the goddamn replay? Oh my god, I probably have to check this in the settings because this is... No. No. Can't even... Can't even save the replay, I was actually looking now for it. I can't save the goddamn replay. Let's go to the main menu first. I just have to find out something here. Because my replays... Should have been here. If it was out the side. Uh, can there be anything I can do though to fix... Um, Missing something? I must be missing something because I can't find out where to set the replay. I probably have forgotten. I should not click too fast this time. I always do. I oh, lost another uh, good replay. We probably would have had two good replays now of this battle. Gaius. Right, so Gaius has a big job ahead of him. And that won't be really helpful for him at the time being. Because he has... A very well depleted army. Oh, I can't put the cards on them? Like you could do in the old Rome? Right. 
Right, so my army here is definitely gonna siege Alicia. He will move towards over there, put up a CN tower, and He should put up a uh, watchtower over here as well. Build tower. So we have a little bit of a view what is going around our borders because, <laughs> you know, uh, the enemy can come all over the place and I don't want to be surprised. Right, so what he can't really get the principles, and he can't retrain his troops because he has two modern armies. So, what Gaius is gonna do is keep him going. Okay, the Scipios has come far, so they will... ...do a lot of job. Narbo Martius. Popularity gain with the masses. The popular uh, popularity with the mob is now improved. There is some hope that one day the people will call you the name in probation rather than use you as a boogeyman to frighten the children. Pontifex Maximus Marcus Julius. Praetor Manius Julius Idile Gnaeus Papirius Senate Office Assigned We're getting a good deal here But I really had to work hard with the guys Julius to get a place in the uh, Senate because that is exactly what he needs he needs that place in Senate people of Rome so let's see in the uh, policies the current standing oh my god the Scipio is rather having the Senate on the side And uh, Scipio and I is having the same thing when it comes to the people. So it's basically me and uh, the Scipios that is fighting for a place with the people and the Senate. Hmm. 
but to overthrow. I don't gotta destroy SPQR the Rome. I'm not gonna do that because we kinda need the Senate until guys Julius Caesar in year 50 has arrived. That is when I allow guys Julius Caesar to take Rome. But first I have to kind of deplete the uh, purple Romans and have to destroy Scipio and the Brutii and allow the uh, Senate to beg me forgiveness for declaring war. The one true emperor. The one true and only Caesar of Rome. While the my Roman Empire is growing. Oh, you are the most savior man. General, engage the enemy. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. I believe he will actually lay siege over here. And with that, I don't would allow them to do so. I'm also preparing. Oh, Mwah. here we go. We're gonna have the market. Great Forum, of course. We're gonna have uh, the Aquidia... Aqueduct? <laughs> I can't pronounce it too well. But we're gonna have the Scriptorium. We're also gonna have the Upper uh, Apith... Apitheater? Or the Apitheater. Then we're gonna build the Archery and the cavalry for Mandalonium. Over here, one more turn, you will be ready. And you would obviously get your first time wall as well. Holy crap, dude. I have one, two, three, four, five, five cities with stone walls. Build me. A watchtower. Now we have a good, nice overview. These people over here are not happy. I cannot blame them. I just have to make safe my borders so the enemy won't come to surprise.
The senators of Rome have much improved opinion of your achievements. That's good. There we go. Now we are rising in power with the Senate people of Rome. Consul. Oh, that reminds me of Rome season when Caesar is in Egypt. Or it was. Uh, list he was just saying out loud I'm consul of Rome or it was about Pompey when he learned that he was the consul of Rome because the Ptolemy they already beheaded Pompey And Caesar was definitely not happy with that. Yeah, the goal is asking for uh, peace. Oh no. Not gonna have him happen in a million years. Until no. next time. I have other plans. Oh, you! We're received. Our fleet is under attack. You! <laughs> All right. I'm on. I'm so. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, Spain. Now, now, you've made my day. <laughs> you just made my day. All right. If you want that wine, sure. Because your fucking army <laughs> is done for. <laughs> I, captain. I, I, captain. This fleet here. I'm gonna take away this fleet. And, uh. I obviously get a need to actually build an army over here right now because we are a little bit of a defenseless here, which is no good. Need the arches on the walls, and um, we got already the cavalry. Ah, uh, not yet. Orders. This one would be too easy, so I just have to resolve that one. God damn! Exact same numbers. Nice. We obviously got their capital city. Completely annihilated their uh, troops. Now Gaul has just one place left and that's the place over here. 
Return to your fortress. We have now secured our borders in a way. But we will probably lose Coralies as well. Recruit any you can not be rewarded since you cannot recruit any units okay I did what I asked but I didn't allow me to get what just happened oh there we go Okay, so we're gonna destroy this fleet and I will have to hold them back over here. Not allowing them to. Oh, look at Scipio. They get some huge plays. I'm gonna take that Splinter City. And I gotta completely <laughs> go around here and take this place. And I'm definitely gonna have to retake Carolis, which is a large army. Which you are gonna recruit here. I was actually not hoping to battle at three fronts, Think which would be against before you reply. which would be against Spain, Britain, and Gaul. But Gaul is basically done for, so yeah. Until next time. You have to attack me. You already have attacked me. So what are you going to say about your, uh, your defense? It will take a lot of turns to get around there. Close defeat. Where did all this fleets coming from? Like one, two, three. Okay. Uh, we got some building to do. Uh, let's see here, uh, that, and you. Repair. First, we have something to do though. Yeah, that's that one. Now that was the one. We're gonna have that one. So, we're gonna build the roads, farming, market. Hang on. Wrong. The market, farming. And so forth. 
And he can finally now retrain his troops, the Prince of Pez. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Caesar is safe. Righto then. You should be ready about to conquer. Conquer goal. But Spain at the same time. Good. Now the settlement has been besieged, no, it's the same. Oh, they're completely surrounding the area. Now we got another general. To lead an army. To increase the speed of army building here. We gotta do it this way. Oh, the gladiators. Some nice gladiators. Okay. Right, they are come to the um, third build. Which is good. Okay. We should obviously build an army in here as well. Just to protect what's inside our borders. So we can continue stop the Britons to conquer. And hold them at bay. Because they're already conquering Germany. But I kind of hope that my fellow Romans will stop the Britons. In a way. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to move. Some of my units. There we go. I sent a small army. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. I, Captain. Prepare for battle. That's ridiculous. This army here will falter. General, attack! Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. Hmm. 
They will learn not to mess with Rome. Yeah, I know they're routing all the... Let's see, we got some Triari units. Let's get uh, Onagers. Thank you for the uh, follow, Antibjorn. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. I'm good. I am just at the moment having uh, issues with Spain coming over uh, visits at Calais. And I will try to conquer some of their mainlands. At the same time, battling uh, Britain and Gaul at the same time. And try to keep my uh, income high as much as possible. So, it's for this time being, we're doing pretty good. How is Rome remastered? Well, I can just simply say it's basically almost the same as the classic one, except for the voiceovers and some of the uh, feel, as you can see here. It's basically more modern build. But the voiceover they have remastered completely. The barbarian sounds more like Russian. Uh, it, they just having the I don't know. They don't have the barbarian voice that they had in the classic. That kind of sucks. They don't have the raw voice, and the cinematic is different. So it's completely revamped one game, but it's good though. It it is good. It's completely good. Honestly, it is completely good. It is. It's playable. You can do the same things that you did in the Rome one classic. I had no chance fighting this army. Just you wait, Spain. Just you wait. Now I'm a little bit stressed out because my uh, mainland are um, defenseless. Probably had to build. Ah. Okay, we had to build an army over here. To be able to defend ourselves. You took city from me, I'll take a city from you. That always works. And there's definitely gonna be bloody. So, uh, you have been uh, playing uh, the classic Rome for a time being, or which Total War game have you been playing? Bjorn.
Nice. Yeah, Rome 2 is basically the uh, better version of what it should have been at release. I... I almost... I, I thought I heard something else. I'm not gonna say it out loud. They're standing among nations. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall, as if that will protect them. Our numbers are vastly superior. It may not seem fair, but we are not here to be fair, only to win. Our armies have had little success against these people. So let this be a day when all. <laughs> Yeah, if you use the numbers to a superior, guys, you the Caesar can always say numbers doesn't win the battle. And he proved that in goal. He always won battles outnumbered, Caesar. So we must grasp our own fates and make what we will of them with an iron purpose. Yeah. Cisa is a freaking legend. He conquered Gaul. He defeated Pompey in the Civil War. He managed to destroy the Senate by being killed. And achieve another civil war for Augustus to win. And that alone splitted the whole Roman Empire to the Pompeian army, the leftovers of the Pompeii, Marcus Antony in Egypt, and we have uh, the other guy that got the Spanish region, and Aga. Augustus got the Italian region and the Gallic. So yeah, all that was Caesar's plan, I guess. <laughs> Caesar's uh, got a master legend of stra strategy. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is pull the Relites out up in front, following the battering ram. Let's see here, let's move the Hastadis towards the same placement here so it's easy to control them. Same with the Velites, Town Watch, the same. Let me put the General over there. Now I can control the army easily, because they're all in the same place. So we have two of the Town Watch army, each side. Now oh, they are the Ram, okay. So we put you on the each side. Pretty has study. What just happened? Thank you for a follow, Iron Hand. Welcome to stream. How are you doing? Another one? Do we get it twice? <laughs> right, so that's for now. We're just gonna do this. Having the town watch to be over here. Cavalry units on the sides. So we make it look like it's more like a siege. There we go. Start battle. Attack. Velites. 
move forward. Why aren't the uh, Spanish people at the gates? Imagine having uh, the gates in this area and you pull your armies out covering this corner like in Troy. That I would love it. <laughs> so much. We might lose this uh, battery ram. We also might lose quite a lot of our troops as well. Guys is in goal, he is still there. The thing is, he will conquer goal. He has just one settlement left to conquer. But you just need to uh, uh, let his army rest for a little bit. Okay, let's send some of these units up front. I just love how this looks. Just the perfect formation. God damn, I love that. The enemy gate is down. Our battering ram has done its work. All right, Tom Watch, you got a job to do. You're gonna wait for that wall to fall as well, so we can completely send the forces in. But we will be prepared. We might be unprepared for the income of this battle. We should actually attack this area instead. Alright, hurry in can't stand a fight within these walls at the gates. Need to maintain a foothold inside, there we go. Mercy. The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. Good. Gods. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken. Velitos, get uh, towards the wall. Velitos, get towards behind the town watch. You, Velitos, get over here. You guys, hold that line. You, Principes, get inside. Help the other town watchers to get inside a wall over there. Oh, oi, 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 oi. Don't do that to me. 
that's not how we work. We work simply to... Oh. Okay. Time watch is... Done. <laughs> Regroup. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I haven't done much go-karting uh, recently at the time being now, no, not yet. I will probably do that in um, hopefully in summer. Hopefully. There we go. the line time watch full attack full attack need to push them back a little bit First, we have to secure the inwards, so we can send cavalry all the way around and take them in the ambush, if this goes well. Romans are losing uh, faith here. These barbarians are eager. Smooth the time watch people inside the gates. They kind of needed. I don't want to use my entire legion to occupy the settlement. I just want to make it piece by piece. Alright, we might probably get this area here to open the uh, ways in a little bit more because this might be very depleting for our army because these barbarians has been Heavily attacking my army over here. Finally. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Of course they all attack us. This barbarians here has done a quite good job to hold the line.
please don't destroy my uh... oh there we go Just walk, don't run. The Tile Watch saved our units. Holy crap. There we go. There we go. Alright, soldiers of Rome. Make a line inside these walls. Is the ad still on running for you guys? I don't know. Because I can't understand Twitch sometimes because the ad is on and off. If you miss some of my answers, please let me know. I will re answer it. If some of it was missed. Okay, the cavalry units are falling fast, that's good. Now we may be managed to hold. Number T. Hello, he played in the first series. Oh, you remembered. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I don't have the hat anymore. Uh, I might probably return to play some of the uh, hold fast nation of war sometime so yeah I'll probably go to back back to it because I've seen a lot of updates since since I played it and uh, I remember the raid I also got I got so overwhelmed so I didn't even manage to continue streaming at the time so that was incredible so yeah I'll probably return to um, hold fast nation at war sometime yeah Definitely. No problem with that. Because <laughs> Hold Fast was actually really enjoyable. Really cool though. Are they really going to run all the way around here, trying to ambush? Okay, we have to retreat the town watch back and bring the Astari in up front.
So yeah, no worries. Hold fast, we'll return. On the stream. Okay. Full attack. The gates has fallen. I'm gonna try to hold the enemy here as long as possible. I already taken over this area I remember in the classic Total War that after you're taken over this area these towers wouldn't shoot at you anymore because you have taken the area it's just like that's not the um, deal anymore nice Nice work, Romans! Now we got the deal done. Hurry up over there. And this is all due to these uh, fellow Romans here. They are the one to actually doing the job. I'm just telling them where to go. <laughs> the Let's hope they won't. Try to ambush. This area here, I believe this area is kind of blocked. I really hope it is. <laughs> hey, cavalry, get over there. managed to block that road this time we're gonna have town watch nearby obviously the enemy won't be running sideways over here you're gonna have a to go over here I like to use my time. Because that makes the battle more interesting. It lasts longer. And it makes more fun. As I believe it is. Your full attack. There we go, the general has attacked. The enemy general is running away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle it's beyond belief. That's because we had the uh, town watch nearby. Now we will have full attack on them. Surrounded. Generally 
is kill. Fear makes a home in our enemies' hearts. Take that. My Romans are doing the job well. There's no way for them now. <laughs> they are completely surrounded. Exactly. Longer the battles, the more fun. That is where Rome 2 kind of lacks ish. Because it lacks of. Um, that one survivor, nobody cares about him. There we go. The enemy show their true birth. No survivors. He's still carrying the sword. Celebration? No. But we lost quite a few casualties. We had a little bit of casualties. Yeah, Vanilla Rome too is... Crap. The Eye of Rome is the savior of Rome Total War 2. Now, where is the uh, replay saving? Where did I put that? Did I click too fast again? Oh, I'm trying to find the uh, replay save. And I don't find it anywhere. Why? Why do they do this to me? I just want to save the replay so I can put it on YouTube. Create a cinematic battle out of it. That's the whole deal. I already lost two good battles with guys Julius. Many field that one. Now before we go with that, we gotta have to destroy one though. Okay, let's hope the Gauls will actually take this area. <laughs> Kinda hope so. Here is Gaius Julius. Exactly, Rome DI makes Rome 2 the best in so many ways. Battle will last longer, the AI is being better in some points. And uh, the battles is heavier, more weighted to fight. Gaius Julius, here he is. The grandfather of Gaius Julius Caesar, as I would call it. Or grand grandfather of Gaius Julius Caesar. Right, oh yeah, we have to build this one too. Right, so we're gonna have the market, the shipment, and uh, the roads is completely done. The farming, arena. We need the happiness of the people, and this one, and that one. And then we build the army. A 
as for now, I'm trying to build the army to retake Calolis away from uh, Spain. So we will be able to I think this army here would be able to hold them back. There we go. Now retrain the troops. Marcus Julius. Okay. I have to hurry though with guys Julius because he is still in goal. He has to destroy the Gallic people over here in the uh, Condite Redonium. Let's go over here, take Londinium. Two turns, so many turns does it take to get over here? Exactly two turns. And we got the Rebel Fleet as well. Fuck. Oh, fuck you, rebels. <laughs> oh, there we go. I failed the mission. Okay, Germania is destroyed. Destroyed by Britain. My ally has been destroyed. We don't like that, do we? Right, we're gonna have Principes. No, the Conquest of Gaul is not complete yet. We need to uh, take Condite Redonum and we're gonna take. Samara Zamarobriva <laughs> Samarobriva Something, something Which is probably Normandy, Francia or something oh, This is Normandy I believe Or this is Normandy I'm out I'm out <laughs> some town watch so guys Julius gonna march over here conquer that conquer over there this army gotta go over there They got a lot of slingers. Ready to sail. Fleet ready. Blockade that gate as well. Completely annihilate uh, the uh, British income. Because that would save us for a little bit. Look at that port. Oh, I captain. Prepare to engage. Prepare to engage. 
Right, so these people here is... Mad. Mad, 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 mad people. Impossible! <laughs> Out of moves, sir. Can't move. Gotta retrain all these soldiers. Because... The conquest of Spain has started. So the next is gonna be this base. Then that. And lastly that. And we're gonna move the army over the sea. Over to Africa. Hopefully before the Scipios are getting there. Then we have a foothold in Africa. God damn! Look at the pretty eye! Since when did they get that much power? The Scipios has a lot of power in Greece and Africa. That is just incredible. I wonder where the fleet to the uh, Hispanic people went. The main army of their troops. Yep, that was the sound of mission failed on um, blockading the gates. Uh, the rebels. I have an eternity of war of the rebels. Ready to sail. Yes, Captain. Ready, fleet ready. Wait, what? Okay. Fleet ready. You're gonna blockade that port, that port. We have located most of the income of the uh, but this Fleet ready. is their income we have to blockade that port no main arm in there we have a second general in here which will lead an army That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. Now we're kind of destroying the um, income for the uh, Gallic people to the Spanish people to at least. That would happen. Empirical. Onward. Okay, I have to find that um, that saving for the replay in Rome remaster. I haven't found it yet. It has to be somewhere. Please, guys, if you know where to find it, please let me know. <laughs> This, I, oh my god. I had two battles with guys Julius. He had two glorious victories against the Gauls. And I couldn't find the saving file. And it also does not auto save the saving file of the replay. Victory shall be ours by grace of my inspired leadership. But this means I cannot risk myself in the front line. I must remain safe, guarded by you, my loyal warriors. 
This is not cowardice, oh no. It is prudence, the handmaiden of victory. We are facing the blue-painted, barking mad Britons today. They may look odd, but they are more than fearsome, and we can expect no mercy. And draw strength from this fact. The enemy are so low that no ally can be found to support them. They cower <laughs> behind their walls and pray for help. We outnumber them comfortably, but that should not be seen as an excuse not to fight hard. Why let your brother carry your burden? <laughs> These people have yet to taste victory at my expense. Today will be no different. So lay into them with a will. The enemy will undoubtedly try to slaughter us at a distance. We must charge home and stop their cowardly plans. Today we make our own face. The omens may say that we face disaster, but I choose to think differently. Can any true man do otherwise? We go now to our bloody business! <laughs> <laughs> this general he doesn't like to be in the front of battle it seems like <laughs> it's like you are supposed to defend me I am your general now please <laughs> he is a definitely a senator of Rome that ask too much of their people like literally too much of their people yeah he just want the glory that's all he wants he just want the glory of Rome who 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 wouldn't have the glory of Rome back in the day in that time of era but he should know the real Roman well, Scipio and guys Julius Caesar. Why Scipio? Well, he defied the Roman senators to surrender. Because they were so scared. They were too afraid. They were panicking. Panicking. What did Scipio do? He just barged in to the Senate floor. And told the senators that he would defeat Carthage. Give me an army and I'll do so. So what he did, he retook parts of Spain and went downwards to Africa. Took partly across the ocean side where the Carthaginians had their basements and took over the whole area and went down to this battle of Zama where Hannibal and Scipio met for the second time why the second time you ask because Scipio and his father fought Hannibal Barca 